It's kind of like the Ronald McDonald House, only for adults. A Roanoke woman wants an affordable, short-term place for out-of-towners to stay when their loved one is in the hospital. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones tells us tonight more about this new project inspired after someone dear to her heart. This is something that traveling patients need, um, and I know he would be proud of us doing whatever it takes to get it here. Terry Ann Julian wants to honor her dad. He was diagnosed with a type of leukemia in 2013. She traveled with her parents from Smith County to Wake Forest for treatments. The state employees credit union family house was home to them during their stays. Julian wants to create a similar hospitality house like this one in the Star City. And I talked with my dad and my mom a couple of times while we were staying there about Roanoke really needing something like this and it was just a godsend. She's in the beginning stages of the Roanoke Hospitality House. It will be a place for adult patients and their families to stay during medical treatments. My mom uh, got to know four other ladies that were going through very similar situations with their husbands, and they have maintained a close relationship ever since. Julian is in contact with the various hospitals and community leaders to make it a reality. The main thing we need to find is our primary um, sponsor or donor. Um, we're looking for someone that can help us actually get the, um, the real estate, the location underway. Through a GoFundMe account, more than $3,100 is raised for startup funds. For those interested in learning how you can help, visit this story on WSLS.com. In Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.